Hey there, everybody, and welcome. My name is Rick Uter here with Ergon Web, your home for old school Ergon reviews, and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Welcome to Ergon Week. Ergon Week is where we push out a bunch of really cool videos, at least videos we think are cool, about some of the neatest air guns we could put our hands on. And right now, we got SHOT Show going on as well, so definitely check out what Angie and Maggie are posting because they're there at SHOT Show and they're going to be posting a bunch of stuff on social media. So hopefully you guys are keeping up with what they got going on. But here at Air Gun Web Range Headquarters, yeah, we're shooting some air guns, which <laughs> that's not a bad way to spend a week, is it? So today's video is, first of all, brought to you by FT Air Guns. FT Air Guns is based out of Dallas, Fort Worth, and they have a showroom. So if you're in that area, look them up, look up their website. I'll have links and everything in the video description, but it's ftairguns.com. Go by, check out their store, put your hands on the guns that we're going to be talking about. And I say guns because I had a great conversation with them, actually, this morning and it looks like we're going to be doing some work with them throughout this year so super excited we got some stuff coming on the way today we're going to continue on with the wildcat this is the fx wildcat mark three i think yes mark three um 22 cal last video we were shooting at 50 yards just sort of dialing things in working with the power adjuster in fact my first video i didn't understand that the power setting is at the bottom i still think they should put a little white notch there but you know that's me i'm probably going to hobby horse on that for a little bit but you guys were talking about I needed to turn the power down to see better accuracy than I was seeing. Well, like I was talking to them about today, I, I'm not an expert on these guns. I have not spent hardly any time with FX products at all, which that's why I'm kind of excited about this because I get to learn about an, a, a very popular Aragon brand. And the more I learn about them, I see their popularity. I get it. Today, we're going to be working on that. And I'm learning right along with you guys. I thought it would be interesting rather than me go spend a ton of hours and just do one video on a gun where you see like the best of the best of the best it can do, which is fine. I have no problem with folks that do that. But boy, things don't start there, do they? I mean, it hasn't started there with me on maybe any gun, but I really want to bring you guys through the learning curve, through my learning curve with FX because, gosh, if, you, if it's going to be new to you, you're probably going to have to go through some of the same learning curves. Maybe we can help each other out, right? So today we're going to start off. I'm at high power. I've got my FX chronograph here. We're shooting 18.13s. I'm at 50 yards. And first thing I'm going to do is just get a baseline. So we're at full tilt high power, which is, well, we'll see where it's hitting. It depends. You know, all at a full fill, it's a little bit higher until the reg settles down. And I think we should be around... Oh, 940, 930-ish or so. And you guys were saying I needed to be down in the mid-8s. Well, we're going to find out. Um, my gut and my experience says low 9s are where I want to be. But, hey, I've been wrong before. So let's actually do the work and find out. So we're all set up and ready to roll. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to go ahead and do five-shot groups. We're going to get five shots at this power setting. We'll drop down to a different one and we'll shoot five shots there and just see how it goes. One thing I want to say, and this is an important distinction, whether it's this video or any of my other videos, especially when we're doing review work. And even more so when we're talking about my goal this year is to find that sub MOA at hundred yards air gun. That means I want the gun scope ammo, whether it's slugs or pellets to produce sub MOA groups, seven or eight times out of 10, right? So 70 or 80% of the time, I want to be able to shoot sub MOA. Now, I'm not going to do that by reading the conditions and adjusting my point of impact. That's like a review of me, not a review of the product. I want a product combination that can do it. So that means I'm going to hold the same hold, and we're going to see what happens in the flight of that pellet and where it lands and so forth. That's the kind of testing I do. That's the kind of testing I'm going to do today. I'm not going to try and chase it to keep it in the center. I want to know what this combination produces on paper, just shooting the gun, not trying to adjust in between. We got a little breeze today. Um, it's actually really gorgeous conditions, but we do have a little breeze. It is coming up, and we're probably hitting seven, eight miles an hour. Coming right from behind us, we're shooting a little bit of a cross, a little across it. So I would guess if it really picks up, we're going to start seeing our shots push to the left, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and do some shooting now that you guys know what we're doing and uh, see what this gun does. Um, FX Impact Mark III, 22 caliber. Let's get started. Okay, 
So first of all, I'm shooting their optic that they put on here. This is the Vortex optic. First focal plane, really nice scope. All right, dead center, and here we go. If I cocked it, I don't remember if I did or not. I did. <laughs> A pro tip, you got to cock the gun. Okay, here we go. Okay, 923. Okay, we are pushing a little bit left like I thought. Let's see here. That's a pretty good group. I mean, it is pushing left, but like I suspected, it's pushing left based on our conditions. Um, yeah, it's a darn good group. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, let's see what happens now. We're gonna drop our hammer spring. Um, now remember, you can't adjust this if the gun's cocked, okay? So you have, don't do that, you'll, you'll damage the gun. So I've adjusted this. Now we're dropping down to the next lower power level. That was high power. This is just below it. Let's see here. Um, by the way, that was... Uh, uh, spread was not great. 16 feet per second. Um, energy was 35 foot-pounds. Okay. Do we do a new string? Let's just, let's just keep this one rolling. Then we'll just have it all together. Okay. Upper left. And I have, again, dropped down one notch. 998. Okay, so that is uh, obviously not as good of a group. We're going to drop down again. So that that velocity was um, about 900 feet per second. So we went from like 940-ish tops or 939 down to about 900. And so far, it's going the wrong direction. Let's see if that changes. We're going to go down to the next group. Our next bull, and we are pushing a little bit more left. Again, we have that breeze that's doing that to us. Eight hundred thirty-five. That's a big drop in velocity. Eight hundred forty-seven. Eight hundred. Okay, so as we are dropping velocity, it's getting worse, not better. Now, this is with 18.13s, with a different pellet, maybe we'd have a different situation, but again, my experience is that low 900, that 920, 930, has always for me been like the sweet spot. Like, not every gun, but generally speaking, that's where I like to be, especially if I want to shoot past 50 yards. All right, we're going to keep going, though. Let's do one more. Um, that went from 900 down to, like, maybe 940. So it started at 930, or, eight, excuse me, 835, went up to 847. So not real consistent. Um, yeah, it's kind of odd, isn't it? But let's let's do another one. And, boy, we really dropped... Um, point of impact there. I'm not going to try and adjust. I'm just holding dead center on the bull. And that landed about half a mil low on the last one. Let's see where we land now. I may hit the bottom bull. Let's see. And we're going to go down one more. 772. That was a major drop. Okay, so... And I'm aiming for the third bull. I'm hitting down on the fourth bull. So... I'm not going to change my hold. Let's see where we let. Let's see if it keeps going. 
Okay, so at least from what I'm seeing, we did not improve by changing our, by slowing down. We actually got worse. So I'm going to put it back up to full power. I'm going to go to the upper right corner. Okay, we had one get pushed. Let's just, hey, let's just verify that we're not seeing an anomaly here. We'll do another group. Um, that is pushing almost a quarter mil left. Or, so I am going to try <laughs> and put those in the bullseye. So this, once I start my hold, I'm not going to change it, however, okay? Okay, so I think that pretty much proves the point, what I expected as the results. But you know, you don't know unless you try it, right? So, I mean, that's just evidence saying that, yeah, for this gun with this pellet in these conditions, we want to be over 900 feet per second. We want to be in that 920, 930, that last, those last five shots were really stable. They were 942, 937, 937, 937, 935. So that's the kind of consistency I would expect um, at the beginning. Um, we had one low one, which was 923, but the others were 935, 937, 937, 939. So that 935 to 940 seems to be like where this reg wants to sit on this particular hammer spring setting. And I mean, when you're shooting sub MOA, which I'm pretty sure that last group probably is, I'd have to mic it, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, at 50 yards, yeah, do you, I really don't want to mess with that type of accuracy. Um, I'm impressed, very impressed. We've got more work to do with this. Now, I am curious as to what other pellets would do and how they would result with different power settings. But for the 1813s, which is what I'm shooting here at 50 yards, yeah, I think we leave it on high power and let her rip. Guys, that's going to be it. I want to say thank you to FT Air Guns for making all this happen. Uh, if you guys, please go check out their website, ftairguns.com. If you're in the Dallas, Fort Worth area, go check out their shop. Go put your hands on some of the cool air guns they have. It's not just FX. they got LCS. Um, they've got Ed Gun. They've got a bunch of other cool things as well as all kinds of accessory scopes. Just if you want to get set up to go either target shoot, bench rest shoot, hunting, they have everything you need to just kind of walk in and walk out ready to roll so very very cool again want to say thank you to those guys i also want to say thank you to every one of our sponsors that helps make all of this happen air gun week is something that we do just because we like shooting air guns and we like sharing cool stuff with you and it's all of our sponsors that allow us to do that so i want to say thank you to all of them you want to check out who they are check out my website, which is www.airgunweb.com. You can click on their logo and see all the work that we've done for each sponsor, which is very, very cool. And yes, I know we need to make some updates, but we'll get to that after the girls get back from shot. That's going to be it for now. My name is Rick Utzler here with Airgun Web, your home for old school airgun reviews and where we tell you the facts, not fluff. Thanks for watching.